Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and I am going to show you how to navigate this Build an Atom um, simulator. So for starters, if you click on the hot link, it will open up this window, which is the FET simulator window. And all you need to do is click the play button. And then what we're going to be using is this middle one symbol. And so you'll click on that. And then in the instructions, it says um, to click on the stable unstable button. So I did. And then you would uh, click and drag for the first scenario, one of these red protons, and you're going to drag it into the center. And then it says to draw on the page what you see in this box. So you see the symbol H, which is the element hydrogen, and then it wants you to copy down this information. So if we go back here, and I'll show you this box. So for starters, I could just type in here hydrogen. And don't worry about the fact that it's taking away some points here. So if you wanted, you could get fancy and you could underline that. But I'm not really too worried about that. Then for this part here where the box is, it's tricky. To me, the easiest thing to do is if you're able to print this. If not, what I would do is I would just copy down, draw a little box on a piece of paper, and then take an image of it and upload it. So I'm going to show you that in a moment. So here what I have is a screenshot I took of my phone. And what I did was I printed the paper and then I went ahead and filled in what I saw on that image and I took a picture of it. And so now I've taken a picture of my page and on my phone, and I'm not sure if my phone is an iPhone. If you have an Android, it might look slightly different, the share. But on an iPhone, this little image in the red uh, circle is my upload image. And so another screenshot of my phone, you can see I have the one photo selected, which is my picture of what I filled in on the box. And after I click the upload, then one of my choices is my Google Drive. And so then from there, you could upload it to your Google Drive, and then you could attach that as your part of your submission for this lab. Okay, so now I'm back at the simulator, and the next thing it says to do is to drag one gray neutron into the center of the atom and draw what's in the symbol box and reflecting on what number changed. And so you'll see here that the mass changed from a 1 to a 2. So if I take away the neutron, the mass goes back to 1. And if I add the neutron, it goes back to 2. And just to show you, if I were to add another one, it would show that it was unstable and again, the mass would change. So now each time you're doing this, at the end, it tells you to click on the reset button. So down here in the corner is a restart. So once you've clicked your restart, you're ready for um, me to explain the last scenario, scenario 7. And for scenario 7, you would click on the game at the bottom, and that brings you here. And so I'm calling the level 1 this question mark all the way over here. And so you would click on that, and then that would ask you to fill in and check your answer. And so you would, for instance, here uh, notice that there are nine protons, and then there are 19 minus 9, so there must be 10 neutrons, and electrons would be the charge is 0, so there have to be 9. And I would check, and I get that. Um, so then you could cycle through and do all five of those, and then you would click Start Over, and the next one would be, I call this the little hydrogen box, and so you would go in here, and you would 
answer here the charge. So for instance, there are 10 electrons and 9 protons, so that means the charge is minus 1 because there's one extra electron. Yay, I got it right. And then the third uh, try, I call this a balance. So you would click on this and you would notice that there is a proton and a neutron, so the mass number should be 2. Yay! And then start over the final one. I call this the periodic table. And so you would go in here and you would find the element. And in order to find this element, you would notice that there are two protons. So that means it has to be helium. And it has two protons. And it has two electrons. So it is neutral. And we're right. So that is the game, and I'm not going to be um, grading you based on how you did on these. These are just kind of a fun thing. So um, let me stop here. And so the last thing I'll point out is that if you want, you can go to this atom one. You can do the same thing. You can click stable, unstable. You can show orbits, or you can show a cloud. And let's see if we put a proton in here and we put an electron, then you can see what it looks like as a cloud as opposed to an electron in an orbit. So anyway, um, and you can also obviously click on all these various things. So if you'd like to play around with this a little bit more, or if you just want to stick with the symbol one and the game one, that is all fine with me. So again, this is Miss Augustine and I'm going to sign off.